Let's make this quick. If you're playing versus a Zac, then I'd recommend you pick someone like Vi because of her innate ability to stop his jump anytime. Udyr because he'll have very little ways of keeping up with you if you want to run away in a bad skirmish. Or the always trustworthy Lee Sin so that you can invade and kill him early or kick him away in a teamfight before he ults everyone away. Xin Zhao and Volibear have interesting misplacement abilities so they'll work too. And Kindred finishes the list of viable counters because of her easy mobility for dodging the stuff he'll throw at you. Zac's passive works in two ways. First, every time he hits an ability, he drops a bit of himself which he can pick up to gain health back up. And also, once every 5 minutes, if you kill him, he'll divide into 4 small parts and they'll try to join back up together. Zack's Q is a skill shot where he extends his arm to grab someone. If he hits the ability, then his next auto attack has increased range, and in striking will slam both targets at each other. His W makes him basically lose a part of himself for some mild AoE damage. His E makes him channel for as long as 4.5 seconds and will make him fly after recasting. This is usually max first to increase the distance and allows him for some interesting ganking positions. Be sure to ward this part here if you're playing versus one and you're a laner. Zack's ultimate works in a weird way. First, he squishes himself down, becoming immune to CC but not damage. If he recasts it after one second laying down, then he'll carry everyone with him. But if he recasts it earlier, then he'll just jump and shove everyone away from him. Like most junglers, he'll take the smite flash combination. Getting the blue smite versus him could be interesting if you have CC to stop his jump. Otherwise, don't bother and go for the red one if you're looking for skirmishes. Zack strives mostly after he hits level 3 when he can really start ganking properly. His team fighting becomes substantially better after he gets his ultimate at level 6, but it'll be most useful in the late game when killing him becomes quite hard. He gets an interesting fighting boost after the Cinder Ulk enchantment gets finished, and if he goes for Knight's Vow, make sure to pay special attention to when he's fighting alongside someone who can deal loads of damage, because his healing becomes insane. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, bring some CC to interrupt his large casting of E, you have at least one second to get out of his ultimate ultimate, and be especially careful when his reviving passive is up, particularly when someone can simply TP on his blobs and save him. Ultimately, just have fun doing